Welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel. Today we are going to find out how strong are teeth. Here is the uh, first tooth that we are going to crush. It's my uh, wife's wisdom tooth. And we didn't, or okay, we didn't remove it, but the dentist didn't remove it just for this video. <laughs> it was like, all, it was like painful, so it had to come out. And since it came out, why not to crush it? So I had to uh, grind it little bit down to make it even so it can stand out. So that's like completely even surface there. And it's going to stand like that. And the tools that I made, they are made out from aluminium. So I think the like top surface of the tooth is going to sink there probably slightly. So we are going to get more realistic result with softer aluminium tools than with really hard steel tools. Okay, and now we have first real tools there. And this one is really shallow because this had to be cut in half when they took it out. It was complicated. There's video on Annie's channel about the whole day. But we want to start with this to make sure that everything works for the best tooth. Okay, okay, that's ready. The sensor works really well. It, it, it works. Guess how much? 60 kilos. 100 kilos. Uh -huh. Wow. And this wasn't completely even, so I think the next one is going to be even harder, but this, this looks promising. Okay, so the cool seat is there, and I have uh, grinded it flat from the bottom, so it's going to be loaded nicely and evenly there. And the dentist said that he thinks that it's going to be 500 to 1000 kilos, but I think it's not going to be probably that much, because this is completely flat surface here, so it's not going to be properly loaded so evenly than it would be inside of your mouth. But this is the scenario where you try to bite aluminium with your teeth. Because I think it doesn't matter how strong can you push your teeth together. It matters how strong you can bite with them. So this is the maximum bite force against aluminium per one tooth. Of course you have probably more than just one. Okay, here we go, and we are going to go really slowly. Holy shit, it's strong! Okay, that was intense, 285 kilos. And let's have a look what happened. Yeah, it, it's cracked in half. There is missing big clump from here. And then when you watch it from here, you can see that there is a crack on middle of the tooth, so this one is gone. Okay, let's have a look on the high speed. And this is over 4000 frames per second. And as you can see, it's not super dramatic. It just splits in two and some stuff flies on the other direction. Okay, and this was a pretty irritating tooth for my wife. So she wants to see it is completely gone. So we are going to now continue from here. And I made some math, you, if you don't count wisdom teeth, you have 28 teeth, so 14 pairs. And if each one they can take 
285 kilos, the total bite force with all of your teeth is four tons is the maximum. And if you use just like one side of your mouth, then it's about two tons. So you can bite pretty hard. Of course, it's really hard to load all the teeth evenly. So in practice, that's probably a bit less. So don't bite aluminum things hard. You are going to probably break something. But here we go. It's even stronger now. And the peak force was 635 kilos. But I would say that after the first crack, you are not going to keep biting. <laughs> and now we have one more tooth. It's the another half from the first tooth. And it has been in soda drink for one week. Okay, so we can clearly see that something has happened. It's not very white anymore. But to be honest, I think this isn't typical soda situation because this is like the lower part of the tooth that is not in your mouth typically, it's like inside the gums. And also the tooth is broken, so there isn't like the protective layer that they usually have. So I think this is like situation where you have terrible holes in your teeth and then you have your mouth full of soda for one week. So I think that's the like worst case situation. So let's see what it has done to the tooth. Okay. That was 95 kilos. And the piece is a bit odd shape, so I would say that it's as, just as strong as before, it just looks really bad. But I think we have to crush this one also completely to satisfy Anni. <laughs> <laughs> And interesting part seems to be that the color is all the way through, so it has somehow sunk the soda inside of the tooth, so that's interesting. But I would say that the hardness was pretty, pretty much the same as on the other pieces. Yeah, but now we know how hard teeth are, and Annie doesn't have any more wisdom teeth pain, because they are now out and crushed it. And if you are not already subscribed to our second channel, it's now good time to do that. There is link in description and end screen. We have this weekend press related stuff also on that channel. I made new frame out from a <laughs> truck pallet for the Smashinator 5 million world fastest press. And we are going to put the press against the frozen lake. So it shoots 30 kilo steel piston really fast and the idea is going to see will it go through. Yeah, but that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. And for today's extra content, we have this art park. I have no idea what they do but probably something dangerous, so we have to deal with it. <laughs>